Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so day after me having my pre-assessment for my next operation. So now I know what the operation is going to entail. I know the risks behind it. I know the hopeful benefits which I get from having the surgery. I also know some of the complications and I know that it's not a surgery which I'm going to have to take lightly um, and why would any surgery be taken lightly anyway um, so yeah so I had my pre-assessment yesterday for my next step in my journey so if you're new here watching this I have had some horrific experiences with hernias uh, for just coming up to four years now um, I've had two just keeping this very brief um, I've had two hernia repairs one femoral uh, hernia repair on my right side and one inguinal uh, hernia repair again on my right side. I also have another hernia on my right side and I have some mesh which is causing me a lot of problems on that side on my right side of course and that was the original uh, first repair which I had so to repair my first femoral hernia and those are the ones which they're, they're always a little bit more worried about because they can be a little bit more dangerous so I had a mesh cone to repair that one and I'm now told that if it was 2017 now when I presented with a horrific pain um, a real bad hernia it was affecting my walking it was affecting the nerves and things in my leg and since then I had a real prolific overactive bladder um, which I've also had surgery for as well last September and the whole sort of array of all these issues have really changed my life um, and they have categorically changed every aspect of my life whereas confidence, whereas sort of going out when I want to, um, having to know where a bathroom is all the time um, it's just been an absolute nightmare, it really has been so I have been sort of battling for the last 14 months with how I've been walking around because slowly things have got worse and now I use a crutch to get about um, to help me whilst I'm out and about. I don't use it necessarily so much in the house. Sometimes I've had a few issues where I've not been able to necessarily get out the bath very easy or in and out of the shower very easy. So that's been a bit of a, that's been a, a it's been a huge, a huge change of my life and it's, and it's, a huge worry to think that if I will ever get back to me. So this next stage is to do a mesh removal for my initial uh, repair, which I had back in November 2017. So it's going to be taking that mesh away. It's going to be replacing it with something which is much softer because I've been told now that they wouldn't have used that mesh cone or that type of repair if they were to do this operation now. It was for a much older person, a much uh, less active person because it's affected the nerves and things in my leg. My leg changes colour, it goes blue at times, my foot changes to a very dark blue. I get lots of pins and needles, lots of pain sensation. Um, very, very nasty, very nasty and um, I struggle to walk around. So now I'm having that mesh removed, a new type of repair, but because I keep getting so many hernias, I'm also having some sort of uh, structuring, some sort of strengthening material put in my groin to, um, I believe, bolster the area to make it stronger for me so I don't have to keep having these issues. And I'm also having the other hernia repaired as well. Um, now, because mesh removal surgery I'm told is a lot more complicated what makes it even more complicated is the mesh cone is dislocating with me so that's why it's causing me a lot of pain and sometimes if I if I try to walk or if I try to do something too quickly or too strenuous then I get a sharp pain I can actually feel whatever that cone is doing I can feel something move and I can feel a ridge in my side so as you can imagine very painful very uncomfortable and quite life debilitating but my stance on it is that I will always stay positive. I choose I choose to be optimistic. I could quite easily sit here and say, do you know what? I really can't do this anymore because I've done this for nearly four years on and off. And the last 14 months have been really very difficult. So I could easily, believe you me, sit here and say, actually, I just can't cope with this anymore. I just can't cope with how life is. But I make a choice, a conscious decision to make each day fantastic. I don't let it stop me back. I don't let it stop me from doing anything. I, I'm maybe a lot slower at the moment with things and I feel an awful lot older than what I am. And it's and it has put this sort of cap on my life, this hypothetical sort of concrete block in front of me. But I still choose to be positive 
Why wouldn't you be? Every day is a blessing. Um, and there are so many horrific things going on out there. I'm actually quite fortunate. Um, at least I have this coming up now where things will get better, hopefully, and I will go back to being me. Um, it is scary. After going through the risks and things yesterday, for example, I had to have um, I had to have different something different type of blood test, I believe, um, just in case because apparently the mesh where it's desiccating it's causing some problems um, right next to the femoral artery um, and the femoral veins and things there. So there's a high risk of bleeding, um, and I'm told hemorrhage and things. So I had to I had to have some tests yesterday for having blood on hand in the operation if there should be any issues at all. Um, I've been very privileged to have a very world-renowned top surgeon doing my operation um, in the coming weeks. My surgery is down as urgent, so I'm hoping in the coming weeks that I will be called to have that done, so then hopefully I can start to get my life back on track. Um, I am told that I will have to stay in. Now, of course, you think, yes, absolutely, you would need to anyway, but they're not sure for how long I'd need to stay in the hospital because I was a bit unsure whether or not um, some of these things can be a day case. But I think I knew in my heart of hearts, really, that this one is um, going to be a lot more difficult. I'm told the procedure is going to be around three hours. Um, so all of this, I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling quite weary, quite worried about it, quite sort of um, uns unsettled, you could say. But um it has to happen. It has to happen. It's just changed so much of my life. It really has. Um, so I wasn't 100% happy yesterday because I had to keep repeating a lot because that communication between hospitals, because um, the hospital where I'll be having the procedure wasn't actually where I went for my pre-assessment yesterday. And unfortunately, it's a two hour trip to where I, the hospital or specialist area where I need to go, specialist unit where I need to go. Um, so 20 minutes in a car is very, very difficult for me. So after a two hour trip yesterday, it was absolutely horrific. Lots of pain, lots of discomfort. So this has been a real slog of a journey to keep going. It's been appointment after appointment, scan after scan, specialist after specialist. And now to be told that this is all going to be dealt with. Um, I'm half expecting sort of something to crop up. I really am. Um, but of course, Again, you have to be positive. You have to make a choice of being optimistic, and that I am doing. And I have an amazing family, um, an amazing support network. My mum is absolutely incredible. Um, she truly gets me through each day, let's put it that way. My dad, amazing. Um, I have great brothers, I really, really do. And uh, my I, my family is just... In, my. It's a true blessing. It really, really is. My nan, absolutely, even though she has Alzheimer's, bless her, I see her um, very, very often. And... Just seeing her determination, her strength to keep facing each day with the illness she has, with such sort of resilience and such strength and such willpower, that gives me the determination to think, you know, if Nan can do it at nearly 95, then I'm damn sure as hell that I can as well. And this won't, this won't, this won't knock me back. So, um, so yeah, so we've had the pre-assessment now and roll on the operation, if that can even be such a thing. Um, so... As I say, full of worry, full of kind of fear and things. Um, I'm told the recovery, uh, I'm actually told that it can be between eight and ten weeks. Um, but apparently after two weeks, I'll be able to start doing things. So um, I'm hoping, I've told myself, two days I'll be up dancing. But, <laughs> but who knows? So there will be a bit of a break for my channel coming up, I have to admit. Um, I've had quite a few operations, unfortunately, in my life, but this is probably been, this will be the biggest one. Um, this is the most scariest one, I have to admit. Um, but here it goes, and hopefully, hopefully, it won't be too long now, and hopefully I'll be able to start enjoying my life as a young man again, being able to look forward to all the things which somebody at my age should be able to do, because I haven't been able to for such a long time. You know, even getting a haircut one week ago, was an absolute disaster. Nothing goes right for me. Um, so still a little bit annoyed with that when I look in the mirror as well. But there you go. This has all got to change. It's all got to change. The saying goes, isn't it? It's not how you fall down. It's how you get back up. And I'm ready to do that. Let's put it this way.
Okay, thank you very much indeed for sharing this. Some may say, why not you put this on your channel? It's because I have fantastic support from my channel. I have amazing people watch this. I have amazing subscribers and the support I get is just absolutely incredible. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for that. It really does mean the world to me. And as you may have heard me sort of chat through many of times, is my channel I use as another person, something to express how I'm feeling, something to get it off my chest and to talk. And you know what? It really, really does work. So thank you for that as well. Okay, so until next time, we will see you then. Thanks for your company. Thank you very much for listening and thank you for being there. Okay, until next time we see you then. Bye-bye now.